This diagram represents the overall design workflow that is used by the asset design and development team in the creation of micro-credentials that will constitute a particular stack for the overall asset program. I'd like to sort of briefly describe each of these steps in the workflow and then spend a few moments um, directing your attention to where some of the important supporting documents for the design and development aspect of these steps are located within the asset program's Google Drive shared space. So the very first step in the process involves creating scoping documents for each of the micro-credentials based on the competencies that have been identified now, the scoping document is the responsibility of the subject matter expert. Subject matter expert creates that and then passes it to the ID lead who reviews it along with the subject matter expert to ensure that it, it constitutes a well-organized and essentially a doable piece of instruction. The second step in the process is taking the, um, taking the approved scoping document and then creating the storyboard. That's something that the subject matter expert does. Again, once these storyboards are created, they are reviewed and revised by the ID lead or anybody on the ID team, as well as the subject matter expert. Um, this constitutes a very important step in the process because most of the content for each of the um, micro-credentials and each of the modules within the micro-credentials, this is where the content is identified and where the specific media elements for the design the, for the development of the of the micro credential needs to be um, clearly de delineated. From there, um, two important steps happen kind of in tandem. One is to obtain and create the media, and that involves everybody on the ID team being um, being um, aware of what they're what they need to develop, whether that's a video, whether that's graphics, whether that's resources. Um, or uh, the, to develop specific activities, that gets passed off to the ID team. And again, these are reviewed and revised by the ID lead and the subject matter expert when these items are in their draft form. At the same time, the assessments for the particular um, micro-credential are developed. That is done in conjunction with the subject matter expert, the ID lead, and anybody on the ID team who is working um, on the assessments. And again, these are reviewed and revised by the subject matter expert and the ID lead. Once those uh, products are developed, we move to step four, which is installing the um, content from the storyboards, as well as all the media and the assessment items into the D D2L. And again, this is the responsibility of the ID team, um, whoever's been tasked with that. Um, and when once that is installed into D2L, that's reviewed and revised by the subject matter expert, the ID lead. And finally, once material is up into D2L, it's time to start conducting one-to-one -one evaluations with members of the target population, um, running them through the process and procedures and that is something that should be done on a formal basis where the uh, ID lead manages that or somebody on the ID team does. And the data collected is used by the subject matter expert and the ID team to go back and possibly fix the storyboard, possibly fix what's going on inside of D2L, possibly address some of the media concerns, or certainly address some of the um, assessment concerned concerns so that is, um, that's the workflow. That's the process to design and develop the, um, the instructional experiences. Okay, so now where are these, some of these items located? Um, or I should say, where are the documents located that support this process? So let's take a tour of the asset um, 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 shared Google space. Most of the documents that you need to understand to keep track of and to manage that the process that has been identified are located inside of the asset folder. Let me um, let me just uh, clear everything. All right, let's try this. Um, so I'm in the asset folder, and everything that I'm going to be talking about is located within the micro credential design 
folder. I I I'd even put a star on that one in my um, in my uh, Google Drive. So I'm going to open up the micro credential design, and you will see four folders. We have uh, documents associated with the D2L design. And right now, one of the most important documents in there is the wireframe for designing the overall framework and structure of the of the each of the stack the micro credentials for the stacks. We have uh, documents that involve the workflow and roles um, that are part of this process. General resources for people on the ID team, uh, but perhaps most importantly, are is the folder that is where the elementary math stack. Uh, documents are located so I'm going to I'm going to double click on that and inside of this we have a document that deals with just my general to-do list of things that have to happen that's really for my eyes as the ID lead to try and um, keep track of some of the important things that have to happen then we have the uh, a very important document that everybody um, involved in the project needs to be aware of at all times, and that is the competencies and objectives map for the entire, uh, for each of the micro-credentials inside the stack. And then the, the other, probably the most important um, document in here, um, apart from the resources, is the, uh, the design status and task assignment um, spreadsheet. I'll get to that one in just a minute. Let me, um, let, let me go in though to some of those documents associated with the scoping documents and storyboards and associated media files. So when I open up the micro credentials folder, you will notice there are that there's my, nine micro credentials associated with this stack. And inside of this is a really important document uh, down here that is the big picture design schedule that Brooke that the, the subject matter expert Brooke and myself are using to keep track of just the big picture calendar of which micro we're working on in which order and what is the status in terms of when the storyboards are going to get to the ID lead that is me uh, to for review and then we have some other important dates and assignments that are included in this so that's an important document to consider when um, in this overall process. When I go into the micro, a micro-credential folder here, I'm opening up micro-credential two because that's the first one that we're working on. Again, you have a document that is, here's the scoping document for that. Um, and this scoping document includes the, this, um, the overall uh, competencies, goals, and then the information about each of the topics or what we're calling modules, uh, because once the scoping document is created, we now have a sense of how many discrete instructional sections we're going to be developing. And now, so for each of those modules identified in the scoping document, then we create um, individual storyboards for those. Let me open up one of those storyboards so you can get a sense of the kind of information that's on display inside of the storyboard. Very important, we have the competencies that are uh, identified along with the discrete objectives that are, that are addressed in those competencies. Um, and we have um, information about the, um, what the content is, what media elements are, need to be developed, and any production notes. And those media elements will be identified by type and the number corresponds with the number, uh, what module number it is, number two, um, or I should say what micro-credential number two and what module is one. So this would be video 2.1a, indicating that it's the, this is the first video that's going to be on display and that needs to be developed for, the, for module one inside a micro-credential number two. And as you scroll through the, um, the, the, the document, you'll see uh, media elements identified that include images, and um, additional videos and that sort of thing. Again, in the left-hand column is the actual content that will be installed into D2L. Some of that, by the way, does involve, uh, for example, actual, um, actual pra uh, check your understanding practice items that are embedded without. So that's the kind of thing that you'll find in the storyboards. Um, let's then take a look uh, so at some of the other important documents. 
So I am inside of the storyboard or inside of the uh, micro credential folder now. I'm going to back my way out and I'm going to go to the, again, the elementary math uh, stack folder. And I want to introduce you to, first of all, um, a very important document is the elementary math stack competencies. It's the competencies and the objectives listed here. This is a organic working document. Uh, this, the SME and myself feel very good about all of the um, uh, all of the competencies that are described, but we are still in the process. Once these get I designed, once the scoping documents get created, we'll be identifying the discrete instructional objectives. And we don't have all of those uh, written or identified or numbered yet. Once we do get them done, though, we will make sure that they are uh, numbered appropriately and that we reference these within the de development process within the within the storyboards themselves. So that's something that we're keeping um, we're keeping ourselves organized doing. So in this case, you can see that this objective is the first objective for the second module inside of the second micro credential, which is um, which is the one that we're working on. So that is a look then at the important, uh, really the important, one of the most important documents associated with, um, with, with keeping track of and managing the design process. The last one that I want to show you, it's, it's again, a very important document, is the status and task assignments document. Um, and this is a spreadsheet um, located in the stack, at the stack folder level for elementary math. There are some important tabs to consider here. The first one is the overall status of each of the very important components. Uh, are the competencies written? Oops, sorry. Are the competencies written? Is the scope document done? How, what is the status of the storyboards? Uh, what is the status of the Sim School development? Um, what, uh, going down the line here, what are the stat? Oops clear that out. Uh, what's the status of the um, assessments? And then did, were the media tasks identified and communicated to those in charge of developing them? So this is our overall map and we're just starting as you can see, but we're on the road. Um, there are some tasks that need to be done that address the overall program. These are mostly, mostly have to do with D2L. And like all of the task assignment sheets that are in this document, these include um, what a description of what the oops, what the task is. Oh, I got kind of my 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 marker got small. That's all right. I'll just talk about it. What the tasks are, where where it's located. In this case, it's throughout the entire thing. What type of task is being addressed, and um, who it's assigned to, and what the due date is. Let me then go down to uh, the task list that we've recently created for the first micro th that we're developing. Um, again, you will notice that we have the, the task assignments are described very, uh, very succinctly. They align directly to the information that is in the uh, storyboard. So if you want to know what resource 2.3.a is, what that task represents, just go to the uh, module two in, in micro credential, or excuse me, module three, because it's 2.3. Go to that micro credential uh, storyboard and you can look this up. Um, it's This one happens to be a resource. It's assigned to one of the team members. It has a, um, this one does not have a due date on it yet. Um, there's information about the, uh, the the design information and who it's assigned to and, and, and the due date. And as you just, it allows you to just take a quick glance, a quick look at what is has been assigned. For example, you'll notice that on this um, here on this task, the image set for the first module in our in our second micro. Uh, these are some graphics that were assigned to Katie. The due date was uh, has already expired. There it is. But this task has already been completed. So um, so I'm not I'm not alarmed by that red due date because it's been completed. And so that is how we're using this to communicate to uh, to each other back and forth about uh, about these 
uh, about the status of all of the media elements. So that is that that does it for the organization and structure. Uh, again, the, the, those files uh, align with um, with the steps involved in this workflow, and uh, we're going to try to keep the Google Space, the shared drive that we're using, as clean and as clutter-free as possible. So, anyway, I hope this is helpful.